after studying this module you shall be able to know the concept and meaning of dohri window learn the principles of change within the dohri window evaluate the four regions of dohri window we shall commence this module by studying dohri window the dohri window model was developed by american psychologist joseph luft and harry lingam in the 1950s the dohri window soon became a commonly used model for understanding and training self awareness individual development recuperating communications interpersonal relationships group dynamics team development and inter group relationships the dohri window model is also known as a disclosure or feedback model of self awareness and also information processing tool the dohri window essentially signifies information feelings knowledge views attitudes skills intentions motivation etc within or about a person in relation to their group from four view points which are discussed below c figure 1 dohri window refers to self and others self means one's self and others means other persons in the person's group the quadrants are basically divided in four categories open area what you know about yourself and others also know blind area what you do not know about yourself but others do know hidden area what you know about yourself but others do not know unknown area what neither you nor others know about you the quadrants inflate or contract in relation to each other as you achieve more knowledge about yourself through experience surveillance feedback from others communication self reflection etc to work most efficiently and effectively one need to develop an open area of him or her this is the space where communication is good with no misapprehension as there is openness learning more about yourself through a new situation such as work experience can shrivel your unknown area and enlarge your hidden area if you converse this self learning to other people you enlarge your open area where people discern you and you know yourself if you ask for feedback then people know about you and will become part of your self knowledge stirring from your blind area to open area now we will learn four regions of dohri window the four dohri window view points are known as regions or quadrants each of these regions symbolizes the information feelings motivation etc in terms of whether the information is known or unknown by the person and whether the information is known or unknown by others in the group the dohri windows four regions are arena faked blind spot and unknown what is known by the person about him or herself is also known by others is open area or the arena what is unknown by the person about him or herself but which others know is blind area or blind spot what the persons know about him or herself that others do not know is known as hidden area or fake it what is unknown 
by the person about him or herself and is also unknown by others is unknown self now we will move on to johri region 1 johri region 1 is also acknowledged as the area of free activity it contains information about the person conduct thoughts feelings sentiment awareness experience skills views etc known by the person himself herself and known by the others the intent of any group should be to extend the open area for each person since when we work with others in this area we are at our most efficient and productive the open free area is also known as arena which can be seen as the space where excellent communications and cooperation crop up free from interruption doubt puzzlement clash and misapprehensions reputable team members rationally tend to have generously proportioned open areas than new team members fresh team members start with comparatively small open areas as reasonably little knowledge about the new team member is shared the size of the open area can be stretched horizontally into the blind space by seeking and vigorously listening to feedback from other group members this course of action is known as feedback solicitation the size of the open area can also be stretched vertically downwards into the hidden space by the person's confession of information feelings etc about him or herself to the group and its members group members can facilitate a person inflate their open area into the hidden area by asking the person about him herself managers and team leaders can play a significant role in facilitating feedback and revelation among group members and in unservingly giving feedback to individual about their own blind areas leaders also have a huge responsibility to endorse a culture and expectation for open truthful constructive supportive productive sensitive communications and the sharing of knowledge throughout their group top performing groups departments companies and organizations constantly tend to have a culture of open encouraging communication so encouraging the positive development of the open area or open self for everyone is effortless yet elementary facet of successful leadership further we will study johri region 2 johri region 2 is what is known about a person by others in the group but is unknown by the person him or herself it is known as blind area by soliciting feedback from others the endeavor should be to condense this area and thus to increase the open area that is to augment self awareness this blind area is not an effective space for individuals or groups the blind area could also be referred to as unawareness about oneself or issues in which one is deceived a blind area could also embrace issues that others are intentionally withholding from a person we all know how complicated it is to work well when kept in the dim group members and managers can take some duty for helping an individual to trim down their blind area in turn 
mounting the open area by giving susceptible feedback and cheering disclosure managers should encourage a climate of non-judgmental feedback and group retort to individual disclosure which shrinks fear and consequently promotes both processes to ensue the level to which an individual seeks feedback and the issues on which feedback is hunted must always be at the individual's own prudence some people are subtler than others care needs to be taken to shun emotional upset johari region 3 johari region 3 is what is known to us but kept reserved or hidden from others and hence unknown to others this hidden or avoided self signifies information feelings etc anything that a person knows about self but which is not exposed to others the hidden area could also embrace sensitivities qualms hidden agendas scheming intentions and secrets anything that a person knows but does not divulge for whatever motive it is natural for very own and private information and feelings to remain secreted certainly certain information feeling and experiences have no bearing on work and should remain hidden conversely a lot of hidden information is not very personal it is work related and so is better situated in the open area pertinent hidden information and feelings etc should be moved into the open area through the process of revelation the aim should be to disclose and expose significant information and feelings therefore the johari windows terminology self disclosure and exposure process thus escalating the open area by telling others how we feel about ourselves reduces the hidden area and amplify the open area which facilitates better understanding assistance faith team working efficiency and productivity reducing hidden areas also lessen the potential for perplexity misunderstanding poor communication etc which undermine team effectiveness now we move on to understand johari region 4 Johari region 4 enclose information feelings dormant abilities aptitudes experiences etc that are unknown to the person him or herself and unknown to others in the group these unknown subject take a multiplicity of forms they can be feelings behaviors attitudes ability aptitudes which can be fairly close to the surface and which can be constructive and helpful or they can be deeper facets of a person's individuality swaying his or her behavior to various degrees large unknown areas would classically be predictable in younger people who lack experience or self belief the unknown area could also embrace subconscious feelings rooted in influential events and shocking past experiences which can stay unknown for a life span in a work or organizational context the johari window should not be used to tackle issues of a clinical nature let us now understand the principles of change within the johari window principles of change within the johari window are discussed below a transformation in any one quadrant will influence all other quadrants threat tends to dwindle awareness mutual trust tends to amplify awareness forced awareness is detrimental 
and typically unsuccessful. Interpersonal learning means a revolution has taken place so that quadrant 1 is larger and one or more of the other quadrants has grown slighter. Working with others is assigned by a large sufficient area of free activity. This means additional of the resources and skills in the membership can be applied to the task. The lesser the first quadrant, the shodhya, the communication, there is universal oddity about the unknown area, but this is held in check by custom, social training and by varied fears. Sensitivity means appreciating the concealed facets of behavior in quadrants 2, 3, 4 and respecting the aspirations of others to keep them so. The value system of a group and its membership may be noted in the way unknown in the life of the group are brazen out. Now we shall recapitulate what we have learned so far. The Johari window model was developed by American psychologist Joseph Luft and Harry Lingham in the 1950s. The Johari window soon became an extensively used model for understanding and training, self-awareness, personal development, recuperating communications, interpersonal relationships, group dynamics, team development and intergroup relationships. The Johari window's four regions are arena, fake aid, blind spot and unknown. These quadrants are also known as open area, blind spot, hidden area and unknown area. Johari region 1 is also acknowledged as the area of free activity. It contains information about the person, conduct, thoughts, feelings, sentiment, awareness, experience, skills, views, etc. known by the person himself or herself and known by the others. Johari region 2 is what is known about a person by others in the group but is unknown by the person himself or herself. It is known as blind area. Johari region 3 is what is known to us but kept reserved or hidden from others and hence unknown to others. This hidden or avoided self signifies information, feelings, etc. Anything that a person knows about self but which is not exposed to others. Johari region 4 enclose information, feelings, dormant, abilities, aptitudes, experiences, etc that are unknown to the person, him or herself and unknown to others in the group. There are certain principles also within the Johari window which are discussed above.